Prospective memory is a situation in which a person forms an intention to perform an action at some later time, and then the person has to remember on their own to perform that action. For example, it may be that you need to give a colleague a message later on when you see that colleague, and you've got to remember then to give the message. Now, in some prospective memory situations, it seems as if there are cues inherent that help provide retrieval support. If you have to give a colleague a message, the colleague serves as a cue to, to give the message. In these situations, we didn't expect that older adults would show memory problems relative to younger adults. In contrast, there are prospective memory situations in which there are few inherent cues. That would be a situation, for example, uh, when I might have to remember to take cookies out of the oven in 10 minutes. In this case, with few cues, we expected older adults to show some memory problems relative to younger adults. While, while there were uh, existing theories that suggested that prospective memory should be especially difficult for older people, it turned out to be a difficult theory to test because there were no laboratory paradigms or methods for studying prospective memory. The existing methods were naturalistic ones, such as asking participants to uh, telephone the lab three days later. And uh, in that kind of task, there's really no control over how busy people are over the remembering period, no control over the kinds of strategies that people use. So we thought that an important initial goal of ours uh, should be to develop a task uh, that we could, where we could study prospective memory in the laboratory. In this task, participants sit at a computer. They're asked to press the F12 key on the keyboard every five minutes while they answer a series of questions posed to them. They have no external cues to judge when the five minutes have elapsed. Therefore, they can lose track of time as they become engrossed in answering the questions. This is much like real-world situations where, after thinking about an intended action, a person can become distracted by other daily activities. In another version of this test, participants are asked to press the F12 key whenever a question about a president comes up on the screen. The presidential questions function as an external cue. This event-based task reminds them to press the F12 key. In the experiment that we just showed you, uh, we had younger and older participants um, in, in that experiment, and half of them were given a time-based task, that is, they were asked to press a key on the keyboard every five minutes, and that's a task where there's very little environmental support. And the other half had an event-based task, and that is they were asked to press a key on the keyboard um, whenever they saw an item about a president. And that's a task where there is an external cue or some environmental support. And just as we expected, we found large age differences on the time-based task, the one that was low in environmental support, but very small, and in this case, no age differences in the event-based task, that is the task with uh, high environmental support beyond showing that the event-based task is easier than the time-based task, it's very interesting that we find no age differences on the event-based task, but we do find age differences on the time-based task. So that mimics the general finding in the aging and memory literature, and that is some tasks produce age differences and others do not. 